when you uh, get the box and open it up, make sure you pull out the uh, frame and the handlebars together. The whole frame and then grab the handlebars because the cables are connected. Grab my gas cap and the whole frame comes out. Set it down. There you go. You can pull out the seat and the cardboard and then the front tire and the, then the whole rear axle. Seat. Front tire. And this is the heavy end, so grab the motor and the axle right down there and pick the whole axle up. Okay, carefully remove all the parts out of the box and then uh, start assembling with the rear axle and the frame. We'll do the front tire last. Put one bolt in first, and then you can pivot the frame and put the second bolt in. Got the first bolt started. Now just pivot the frame and bring the second bolt on. Do one washer and a bolt. And just wiggle it till it falls in. Add a washer and nut on the bottom side. Have to get these bolts in and tighten up really tight. Go ahead and hook up the electrical cable. These two wires is the kill switch. Doesn't matter which one these two wires connect into, just connect them into one, or, one of each. Next, put the muffler on. 10 wrench. Take the nuts off first. Pop, pop the pipe on there. Put on a flat washer, then a lock washer, and then the nut. Tighten that up good. Next, put on the front tire. Take all these pieces off here. Take this cap off first. Take these two pieces off. And then take just the top bearing off. The bottom bearing stays. So just take the top bearing off. It has a wedge right there. Pull that wedge off. Then the top bearing. 
and lay it down so the gasket doesn't fall apart. And slide that up in there so the brakes are to the front. The brakes go to the front. Slide it up in. There we go. You can see how it's seating right here. Seat in there. Then first put on the bearing. It goes on first. And the wedge. And it goes on. Down in there. And then the two spacers. And we put the handlebars on top of that. So we'll get the handlebars ready. Okay, got the handlebars free. There it is. Handlebars up here. Wiggle it on there. The bearings aren't seating properly, so wiggle the front tire until it all seats properly. So just kind of wiggle the front tire back and forth. And that'll help the neck set where it should. And then pop in the cap bolt and that tightens up your headset. It doesn't need to be super tight but just snug. There we go, just snug, not real tight because the main tightening bolts are these great big suckers right here. Now, make sure the handlebars are straight. About there. And use the big wrench. And now get these two side bolts really tight. Get them really good and tight. Okay, once the handlebars are on, let's put, plug in the front brake. <clears throat> Take the front brake cable out. On the handle up here, it's got this nut and bolt. Make sure the sl slit in the aluminum is lined up with this crack here. And there's a hole right on top there. So take this in, pull it out a little bit, put it in that hole. Like that. And pull it out. And it should lay right in that slot. Put it in there like this and turn this so the slot's not there so that way it doesn't fall out. And this is a lock nut, you can lock that nut. There, so now the slot's not lined up anymore. <clears throat> now on this side, you got this connector and this end. And this will fit right in the slot over here. Pull that rubber boot back. And put that sucker right in there. So you have to pull back pretty hard and then this aluminum piece pulls back on this side and the cable goes down in this slot and this whole thing fits in the hole right there and then your front brake's on. Just test it out. Okay, that works.
Now we'll hook up the clutch cable. Unravel the clutch cable back here. Okay, now just like the uh, just like the brake cable, you've got this nut stick the end right here, and then you got to make sure that this nut has a big slit in it, and the whole slit's lined up. And this one goes underneath here, so you just look up under there and line it up. And then you can lay this in the in the slot. Now, when you're doing this, have someone push on the back on the clutch. It's kind of hard. But push this clutch lever up like that. Oh, sweet. Oh, Pull it out. Get that in the, in the end here. Slide it in. And turn this nut so the crack's away, so the crack doesn't line up anymore. And tighten up this one so it doesn't come loose. That's the lock nut. And now back here, gotta push this spring back a little bit on here. Push that spring back and then slide it in the slot. Slide the cable in the slot right here with this brass piece on the back side. So the brass piece is on the back side here. This spring is on the front side. It can move forward. And you slid the cable right in that slot. So that's good. Now, we just need to route the clutch cable. <coughs> Put the clutch cable up. And add a, leave about a little loop about like that for the clutch cable. Just a little loop up here, so that way when you turn the, turn the steering wheel, it still has some room to move. And then everywhere there's already a cable tie, add another cable tie to hold the clutch cable in place. And then route it on top of these cables that are already here. Cable, cable tie there, cable tie down here, and then hold it up under here right, with a cable tie right there. And then one more cable tie. And that's the last cable tie right here. Don't put one back here because it won't reach. Because it goes right up into the engine right here. And that will mount the clutch cable. Next, get the seat on. Undo these four bolts here. Pull them out. Take them all out. Set the seat in place. And bolt it back up with the uh, big big screw on this side and a nut and a washer on the other side. Now all we got to do is add the pellet pedals. The pedals are marked. This one says right. And this one says left. On the back side of the cranks, you see that one says left. On the back side over here. Okay. This one says right. Mouse to mouse here. So on the back side, this one says L for left, and this one says R for right. And this left one is left-handed thread, so you got to thread it in backwards. Get the pedals on. Add some gas. It's about time to fire it up. Okay, after you got these bolts good and tight, with the nuts underneath, take the carburetor and put it on. It just slides right on. Just slides right on the pipe. Twist it, push it forward until it goes as far forward as it will go. And then make sure it's straight up and down. And then just tighten the screw on. Get that on good and tight so the carburetor doesn't fall off. The carb's on.